happens with Abathur is showing again in this game. And also they weren't really able to just delay that fight for a little bit, to just draw it out so that Abathur can give them more value at the bot lane with the experience. So now they have to face the music up at the top lane where the Immortal is going through the wall already. And of course, Isla Gaming, they know that against Abathur, they need to make as much happen in the early game as possible. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're not splitting the map. They're not going to the bot lane. They keep all with the Punisher at the top and go through the wall. Yeah, trying to get a little bit of Siege up there. They do take out the front wall. That is, I mean, pretty common when it comes to the first phasing. Typically, actually, you see some teams rotate and leave it alone and try and capitalize elsewhere and push on the bottom half. They opt not to do that there. I think that's totally fine decision making coming up from them. But now being on even footing with only a front wall down. Abathur's XP is showing to balance out here. Yeah, he got more XP in the bot lane as the push at the top happened. Now Val, of course, continuing through that arrow build that we're talking about. Hungering arrow is hungering arrow. And the bot lane camps are now about to be taken. The next immortal is going to be quite important, but keep in mind that, of course, with those objectives, scaling over time, we are going to see the early game there is still the portal that you can easily defend against if you make the rotations and did not lose heroes during the battle. I'm really pleased to see E-Star actually get on the map of Jet, or excuse me, the Merc Control as best as they possibly can, trying to take advantage of the weak early game that exists within Avatar. Again, see the threatening on the bottom half taking out front walls, very much abusing the talent, or excuse me, the build picked up for uh, MVP Black. I really like this choice, and I think control of the map objectives and Merc Control is going to be crucial to their, their success in this game. One of the things that's really going to be interesting as well is that we've you know, of course, been talking about the, the little bit of the weaker team, early game of the Avatar team, but at the same time, Illum is a hero that loves the Late game as well. He's going to scale so much more once the late game is reached. That's going to be a huge problem on the side of MVP Black with them only relying more or less on the burden to lock it down here. Especially when you sit a situation where both teams managed to take out the fort already. I would still give that in favor of Eastar <laughs> largely because.